Happy birthday to the 35th anniversary of the Arcane of Magic album released in the UK today and the 2nd of June 1986. And of course, as you know, we need to talk about that album now. Well, after a successful tour by Queen of the Rocks album and then the Rock and Rio um, thing in January 1985, it was a bit of mm, hanging in the air. Freddie released his solo album in April 1985, Mr. Bad Guy. And then they did get this offer of Life Aid in July 1985, 13th of July. And after that, massive successes. It was actually a shot in the arm. So they decided to go back in the studio and they decided to write one song together called One Vision. So it became the first um, situation where all four band members wrote the song together since 1974 with Stone Cold Crazy from this Shihad Attack album. Um, the words actually were mainly from Roger Taylor, from uh, Martin Luther King's famous speech, one that, one that, one that, 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 I have a dream, yeah, you know. Um, so this was actually the first uh, track they recorded in 1985, released in November 1985, um, although they actually they hadn't any name for the album. So they worked together and it was actually refreshing atmosphere because they were half in Munich now with together with uh, the Doro Du uh, with Hannes uh, Rosacher and uh, Rudy Dolesal um, who then would shot the videos for Queen to the very last video these of Days of Our Life which I uploaded recently um, 30th of May uh, Jubilee of course 30th Jubilee you know um, these are the Days of Our Lives from the Indumento sessions um, check that video out and check my list to the Innuendo Jubilee uh, list out. Well, they uh, shot the video and it was of course hardly produced by Mac, as always since the game album. And then um, they decided to go back to Montreux. <clears throat> so it was half in Munich uh, work, but also in Montreux work with David Richards, who sadly passed away in 2013. Um, of course, he, they worked together with him to the very last album, and then, of course, this uh, Made in Heaven posthume album. Um, and then, actually, it followed with uh, Princess of the Universe uh, in February 1986, because at the time, the famous movie director, uh, Russell Mulcahy, um, offered a Queen a new film, his new film called Highlander, There Can Only Be One. So, actually, this makes the Kind of Magic album very special, because it's well, half a movie album, but it's also uh, a typical musical album, from the musical way, from the typical Queen way. You know, they produced the song at first for the movie, and then um, we wrote them and re remixed them uh, with, to that version, to those versions we know from the album. But of course there are also other um, edits and demos, um, for example from Who Wants to Live Forever, but we'll come to that later. Um, the next thing, Princess of the Universe was one of them. Can look and take a look at the video where uh, Freddy is <clears throat> actually fighting on stage, and then suddenly Christopher Lambert is, is uh, jumping out of the movie, and Russell Mulcahy did it very well because it came out from the movie, and he jumped right onto the stage of where Queen performed. Um, this is a very nice effect. Um, Brian, of course, uh, did his uh, favorite uh, guitar solo from the Magic album, as he once said. Uh, from Princess of the Universe, not with the word special, you can see it's another guitar uh, right in the in the landscape of uh, Scotland, uh, the Highlands. Well, uh, re shot in February, released in early March in the UK in the US, and it's another special thing. The single was not released in the UK. Instead of that, they uh, recorded another single called A Kind of Magic, written by Roger Taylor, but very changed. Mm, in a very different way from Freddie Mercury, who really made the pop atmosphere. You can listen to the original track by the end of the movie. Yeah, there's this. Uh, it's very. Um, well, different from the version we can hear on the album. It's, it differs, of course, with uh, the single version. It's much uh, shorter and um, different. Well, that's actually it's the first album where Queen chosen a name f uh, with a, from a title track, from, from, from a song, yeah? Um, the Brokes hasn't any hot space, you know, it's just a line in Denzel, but A Kind of Magic is the first 
where we've got also a song called A Kind of Magic. Then The Miracle, the same procedure, and Innuendo and actually also Made in Heaven, you know. Well, what else can we say? Um, one Year of Love. Uh, so by A Kind of Magic release, uh, you can check my video out, 17th of March 1986. Then there is One Year of Love, a wonderful ballet between Mercury and Deacon, 6-8 time, um, classical song recorded in Montreux. Um, also a ballet and also then by the hand in the movie. This, together with Pen is Close to Pleasure, which is very lightning, it's actually a soft drum machine. Um, I will upload that soon. Of course, Bundle of Woods Wants to Live Forever um, is a song by Brian, sung by Brian Harfley, but also done with this uh, orchestra by Michael Kamen, who directed the orchestra. Um, it was a classical anthem, uh, Queen released very late, I think it's the last single ever before Freddy uh, got to know his uh, diagnosis. Uh, so it was released in September 1986 after the Magic Tour, but they played it um, at the Magic Tour at Sage. Uh, it's live, it's a bit different, it's uh, of course more uh, rock and roll sound. Then of course we've got uh, another track called Give Me The Price, Kirk and Theme. You can see in the film Kirkan is actually the man who actually wants to uh, fight against uh, Christopher Lambert or uh, Leonard McCohen. Um, wants to, that he uh, actually should he, should he should die and uh, Kirkan is uh, racing through the town with his car. Strangely enough, uh, the Russell Mulcahy used uh, Hammer to Fall for that scene from the works album, which is not on your Magic album. But also, you can you know, give me the prize, is uh, actually the prize which, which Kurgan wants to have. And Brian is uh, playing a wonderful uh, guitar, so it's very, very uh, rough and very um, heavy, but um, it's very interesting to play because it has any, any similarities to Prince of the Universe. Whereas, don't. Uh, what was it called? A dozen red roses for my darling is actually the original version, but focus of Con Don't Lose Your Head, a number by Roger Taylor uh, in a duet with um, Joan Armadong, I think she was called, but you can't hear it. You can't hear his her voice. It's a very hard song uh, done by a lot of double um, um, triplets, and I don't like it to play, so I won't uh, put that in our list um, from the Magic album. Well, what else can I say? There's one single left, Friends Will Be Friends, released in June, very love, uh, very soft ballet, but also uh, not only uh, well, in the movie. Very interesting to see that there are some songs that aren't, that aren't uh, produced for the movie, so actually this really queen work. Well, I think that's all, all for the day, yeah. And then you've got this special, you've got one who wants to do forever in the piano version, you've got the magic version, a kind of a kind of magic, yeah, and then uh, friends will be friends in the longer version. So that was all for today. Thank you very much for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Fernando Lucha Torres, mi nombre en español. Si, vale. Um, check it out. Check the other videos out in the link uh, below. And of course, check the videos out for the 35th anniversary of A Kind of Magic. Of course, it was done by Roger Taylor. Um, I think we should, uh, should use one word to Demos, uh, as I've said, it does with Roses for Our Darling, and then um, very different uh, song variations, for example, Who Wants to Live Forever was actually done very orchestral with the da 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 with a harp and a uh, soft guitar, but not with an e-guitar, and actually this was the, the pattern Queen used for the the the. the the finish, the finish track. Well, thanks for watching.